Good afternoon, everyone. It's 55 degrees here in Lehigh, Utah at 4.30. I normally do not um, videotape this late, but I've been putting off doing a haul video. I don't enjoy them and uh, not, you know, I don't know particular reason why. I just, I think I don't like to, what's the, what's the quotes? I don't like to toot my own horn, maybe that's what it is. But I do need to thank some stores, um, and uh, some places that I went to, and also give an overall thanks to those of you who gave little goodies in the different retreats for me in bags. Um, so much of my stuff got jumbled up, and I don't know whose is whose, and I don't want to make a mistake in that. So I want to tell you like a blanket statement of thank you so very much to all of you who, who did give goodies in the retreats. Um, and so I'm just gonna go on. I will have some pictures. Um, either put in during the times I tell you about the places I went, uh, either that or at the end. And um, I also have things in bags, so it'll be a little noisy, but that's the only way I'm gonna remember with my old brain. So anyway, on to what I'm gonna do first, which is just a couple extra um, happy mail that was sent. And um, this one right here is kind of fun. I got this from Mary Ashcraft. Um, she's a floss tuber. And um, she sent me this and said, thanks for watching her floss tube. And it's a Paula Vaughn pattern for little women. So, and that was, I really thought that was cool because I had never seen this Paula Vaughn pattern before. And I have so many of them. I have a couple of her books and yet I don't have this one. And that little book with, with, uh, with all the um, um, sisters. And I, I enjoyed that. I probably would end up stitching this. So. Thank you, Mary. Um, I'll have her floss tube linked below. Um, she's She does a good job and she's fun to watch. So anyway, um, that's from Mary Ashcraft. Thank you, Mary. Uh, I also got a uh, one of my unicorn patterns from Peggy Miller. Um, she lives in Missouri and she's a friend of mine. And she mentioned to me that she had one of these Teresa Winsler ones. And uh, there's three that I had wanted and uh, she had the storyteller and sent sent that to me so thank you so much peggy um i do enjoy these ones where um, the different dragon ones so so that's that so now i'm going to move on to retreats and also what i did um oh before i do that yes i look different <laughs> i had a little precancerous um uh you know mark on there that uh, was burned off you know how they go you go to the dermatologist and they burn it with this like cold cold stuff and um, I also got my hair chopped so anyway if I look really really different to people that's my different look for for today for this floss tube for the whole floss tube I almost forgot to say that so excuse my red nose and don't excuse my hair because I was glad to get it chopped off make it a little shorter okay First thing I did was I went to um, uh, I went to California, Southern California, and went to the retreat there. My first um, stopover was at Sarah Stitchin, Mommy's house. She has a floss tube on Etsy. Um, many subscribers, a lot of you know her and enjoy her floss tubes. We got to sit together and stitch, and um, I got to enjoy Smokey, her new little kitten. And um, then afterwards, we got to go and. Um, she, I went with her in her car to pick up her kids, and that was fun. That reminded me of old times when I used to do that um, with my own children. So I got some stitching done there. It was pretty cool, and um, spent the day with her. The next day I spent with a good friend that I had known from church, and... Um, we had a good time and then the day after that I went to my nephew's house and uh, spent the day with him um, they bought another house and he wanted to show it to me so I spent the night at his house then that brought me to Thursday yeah so um, no maybe it was Wednesday afternoon I think yeah and so then I headed down to the retreat because our ret Southern California stitching retreat or the SoCal Cross Stitchers Retreat was um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but it was near the end of September. Um, 
And I have a few things from that. We had a freebie table. And I picked up a few things on the freebie table. Here's a drawn thread spot of winter. Cute little pattern. Also, this is a la -dee da pattern called Garden Angel. I'm not gonna take these out of the plastic. I can go through faster just doing it this way. And then also on there was a, a big pattern from Samplers Not Forgotten. Marianne Crumley, 1829. That was a good find. And I really like that one. I love that house. So. And then also, um, my friend there, um, Kathy Canna, thank you very much. She ended up um, charting me, charting for me, um, a, a wedding, like a ha established house, beyond words established house, um, stitching. And um, what this is, is you put the last name of the couple who have gotten married and then families are forever. And then when they um, got married, established and the year. And um, she was gracious, so gracious for me. Thank you, Kathy, to um, stitch, show it really fast. <laughs> so she charted it for me um, for my nephew who's getting married um, next April, April, for, April 1st, April Fool's Day. And so um, I will be making this chart for um, uh, just for him and his wife. And so, of course, it will have his information on it and um, the date and everything. So anyway, that was one thing that I got there. And then the last thing is, um, uh, see what I said? This is why I'm just telling things from stores and whatever, because I'm forgetting names already. So I hope she doesn't watch. But um, one of one of our people there at the SoCal Cross Stitchers made these two needle minders, or had these two needle minders made for us. And I thought it was just hilarious because the top one says fifth annual retreat, SoCal Stitchers to 2021. And then underneath it says the real fifth annual SoCal Stitchers retreat. And of course, you all know that would because, be because of um, COVID. We couldn't have our retreat last year, and then we had it this year. So she had the real stitching retreat up there on a needle minder, and then a dumpster needle minder with, um, well, I mean, not the real. This would really be the sixth, but this is like the, the fifth annual. And But then she put the dumpster fire one for the real stitching retreat needle minder. So I thought that was the funnest, funnest thing. And what's fun is, is that's a good picture of uh, Temecula, the area that we have the retreat because they have a lot of balloon festivals there. So, and there of course is the dumpster one. So thank you. If I think of your name, I'll say it before I end the, the darn video. So, um, oh yes, and we had a baby shower for another floss tuber. Her name's Heather. Um, Confetti Stitcher is um, her floss tube and I'll have her link to below also. And she is expecting a baby in February. And so all of us surprised her at the end of the retreat. I think it was the second to the last day on Saturday. And we surprised her totally. She <laughs> was very surprised. And we were all there with gifts and with a big, huge cookie with um, all decorated up and uh, just goodies and, and gifts and everything, so. Anyway, um, good luck, Heather. I hope everything goes well for you. And um, we have another maybe mini floss tuber in the wings soon um, that will grow up to be another cross stitcher. Okay, then after that, I uh, just um, kind of tootled, if you want to call that. was my mom's name for a short distance. As she used to say, she would tootle from one aunt's house to the next. Um, to my sister's house. I tootled over there because she is about 20 minutes from where the retreat was. And um, so her and I had planned on doing another um, like sister trip together. And um, what we had decided to do was we were going to go visit um, 
the Truckee area of Northern California and Donner Lake and the Donner Memorial Park because we had finished a book together for our book club that uh, was written about the Donner Party called The Indifferent Stars Above. Um, if not too many of you know about um, the Donner Pioneer Party and what happened to them in the Sierra Nevadas, um, it's a good book. It's a great book and um, so I would highly recommend reading it. And since it's historical and true, um, we decided to visit the sites. So we really had a good time. Um, there'll be pictures of that too, places that we went and what we saw there. And before we went there, we also stopped at her daughter and son-in-law's house in Half Moon Bay. So we went up actually along the coast first and then stopped in Half Moon Bay, which is um, right along the coast, southwest, um, maybe about 30 miles from San Francisco. And um, she has a cute little old house there, and um, we were within like 10 minutes of the beach. And so we walked down to the beach and around, and I have some pictures of that too. And then we headed to, um, that was our first stop on our sister trip. And then we headed to, um, to uh, Truckee and to the Donner Memorial State Park. In the process, we also went down into Reno, Nevada. And I know I have a couple friends there and they would say, why didn't you visit me? But this was kind of a fast trip. We really only had just a few days and we had to pretty much, you know, do the things we had to do each day. And then we had to go back to Allison's because she had other things she had to do. So I apologize to those two friends I know in um, Reno who are stitchers. And I'm hoping to visit you some other time when I have more time. But I did vi visit a Stitch in Time, which is the local stitching store in Reno. And that was fun. I ended up getting a um, piece of 25 count. This is kind of a natural even weave. So you can see the flex and, and that in there. That, that natural color is quite common in linen, but I hadn't seen it in an even weave and I thought it would be fun to match it with one of my full coverages that might be a good match to it as far as the background color um, so things won't show through so much the back of the, you know, when I put the threads in. So that was one thing I got there. And then I also picked up, um, this is an old pattern, but I, I liked it. It's crossed winged collection called Alpha Birds. And it's all the birds um, and, the, and their alphabet, like A, B, C, D. And um, I did not really check on this, but yes, they've got to be, uh, I need to open it up and see. But it's definitely the first initial of the name of these birds because it has to be because there's O for Al. So anyway, um, that is a pattern I picked up there and I really liked it. So, And they have it such to where if you want to do it in separate like little uh, just a little like an A or if you want to make it into like somebody's name that's what they had up at the store they had it and that's what intrigued me about it is they had somebody's name they had just taken out um, I believe they had Margie or something they just taken out the M-A-R-G I'm not sure if that was the, the name or not but it was kind of cool they had it up on the wall framed so that's that's why I was drawn to it so that's what I picked up at Stitch in Time Wow, they've got lots of cool flosses there. A um, lot of needlepoint too, as well as cross stitch. But they have, boy, they have all kinds of um, uh, choices of floss. If you're ever in the area, um, 
go take a look and see them because um, they're pretty pretty good store. Um, I was then I went home. Um, my sister and I headed back home. Uh, we stopped at a ghost town along the way down there, which um, I'll try to show some pictures of that. Post some pictures in there too, in here too. And then I just had a week, less than a week, and off I headed to the Midwest Cross Stitching Retreat. Um, now it's called Farm Girl Gathering. It's been changed to Farm Girl Gathering. And um, on my way, I stopped at a store in Hayes, Kansas, as I was driving there. And um, it was called Quilt Cottage. And I'll have it linked below. Or I mean, I think I'll, t I t I'll type in the uh, webpage below. It's Quilt Cottage Co. Dot com and they had a combination of some cross stitch some yarn and some um, quilting uh, fabrics and patterns and I picked up this uh, juniper moon farm um, a combination of merino wool and silk and I just made it into a bowl right now this is just luscious stuff it's just it's fingering weight, but it is just gorgeous. And I picked up, um, they had a copy of the Hitchhiker pattern, which some cross-stitchers have done. And I've always liked it, and I saw one of them made with a variegated of this same um, yarn. So I'm gonna give it a try. The only thing I'm concerned about with this yarn is it, as we were winding it, because um, my husband usually helps me, because the this was in a kind of one of those little round balls, so you couldn't put it on a swift good. And so when I have those, he usually helps me just by, you know, making sure he gives the right tension as I do through the ball winder. And this one just, um, it's just a one ply and man oh man, does it ever knot up on itself. So I'm going to have to make sure I make no mistakes. Because if I make a mistake, it's either staying in or um, I'm throwing it away because there'll be no way to rip out the stitches with this yarn. But it's so pretty. 50% merino, 50% wool. I mean, 50% merino wool, 50% silk. And I love it. So, And I also picked up um, a baby quilt pattern. And um, I think I'm going to do this for a relative. Um, and I like it because what you're, it's a very simple pattern you know you're just doing you're just doing strips of of uh, the different fabrics but they're telling you to use like different baby fabrics like minky flannel corduroy you know baby corduroy and all of that and you just pick whatever colors you want and um so i thought that'll be a fun quilt to do the only part i probably won't like too much is i don't like to i don't like to stitch minky it's just so stretchy and and just just hard to work with but you know if i find the right if I find all the right colors and I love what I've got, I'll go ahead and hassle with it because I think this would be nice for this relative that's going to have a baby. So anyway, those are the things I got at um, the Quilt Cottage in Hayes, Kansas. When I got close to um, Amana, Iowa, which where the um, retreat was being held, I stopped at the Woolen Needle. That's a place that anybody who lives back in... Um, the Midwest probably knows about. It's a shop that has um, quilting supplies, fabric, wool applique, embroidery, and also rug hooking. I love that shop. I picked up some fabrics here. Let me see if I can put them out to make them a little easier to see, see them without doing every one separate. You can kind of see the color palette that I picked. And these ones were all on sale. So I was able to pick them up um, cheaper. And um, I want to use them for finishes. So it was kind of a, you know, good combination of colors. So I bought those. Let's see what else is in here. I also got um, another punch needle. For pun I mean, another punch embroidery needle. Um, I do have a punch needle from back when I did punching um, probably about 15 years ago. It was the standard needle of that time, and I can't remember the name of it. It's a blue needle, but most people had it back then. Um, now they seem to use this one here, and they like it a whole lot better. And um, so I decided to pick up that that needle there, punch needle. And I also got a punch needle pattern that I fell in love with. It's called the Goat Farm. No surprise there. So 
So there's a goat and a chicken and the flag and goat milk in the barn. So love that better. So hoping to get back into doing a little punch needle. Let's hope I've got with uh, scores of other, scads of other crafts I love to do. Um, they had sitting there, this really cute, they said one of their local people made it, the store people said, um, a little um, thread holder. So I really like that. I thought that was really, really pretty. They said a lot of people, and then a little place to hold your needle. They said a lot of people use it for punch needle because they put their, you know, their thread down there and then they just put their needle and just have it sitting there. So I thought that was pretty. Put that down there. And then I got two wool applique patterns because I just love wool applique. I got this kit. I think both of them are kits, actually. This one has all of the um, fabric. And it's called the bird and the bees. So with the bee scap and the bird and the flowers. <laughs> so I really like that. And then the other one I got is also a kit, just in a bigger package with the fabric. And it's called Goldfinch. And and Wool and Needle actually created this one. They created a bunch with like um, birds. And here's the different wool fabrics on the back, the colors. So, so I think that's it with, you know, those fun times in Wool and Needle. I enjoyed that shop. It's in Williamsburg, Iowa. Um, and it's only about maybe a half an hour, 20 minutes or so from, from Amana. So it was fun to stop there. Uh, when we got to Amana, um, those of you who don't know, Amana is a historic communal uh, German colony that started around 1856, from what I read here, um, and continued as a communal colony all the way till 1932. And they were able to um, exist on the food that they produced. Very cute community. There's, I get, believe there's seven of them in the whole, seven like little separate towns um, in the whole community. And um, the, the retreat is held in Mina Mana and at a Price Retreat um, Center, which is a bigger area that has um, seating for people who want to have, you know, different um, get togethers. So anyway, our um, designer that we had um, was Brenda Gervais of With Thy Needle and Thread. And she gave us a presentation on um, Pennsylvania Dutch show towels, the work of young girls. And this is a little uh, piece of um, printed paper that she showed different pictures of uh, parts of the uh, Dutch towels, Pennsylvania Dutch towels. And that was a very, very interesting presentation very, very cool. And um, she also gave us this pattern that she made just for it. Um, for pin keep. And on the other side, this is the way I spend my time. I love the Pennsylvania Dutch colors, you know, lots of reds, whites, and blues, and prims. That um, was what they used for a lot of their they're stitching on their towels as you can see there that's really cool the the um eagle so A lot of this I'm sure that some of you have seen already, but there were some of you who had said you hadn't, hadn't seen things and you wanted to see what I had. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show these. Um, many of them will be repeat um, showings to you from because I know there's a lot of other people who got a lot of these same things. So you just could keep stitching away. I really liked this. P is for pumpkin. It has everything you need to finish it. You know, the fabric, 
the stem, you know, all the stitching supplies. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I picked up a couple that I didn't have from before. Manor at Peacock Hill. I've always liked that one. And I also picked up Token of Love, which I hadn't, which I hadn't bought before, even though I had been considering buying it. Um, I put off buying it because I hadn't gotten. Um, she had had um, not in stock the um, what do you call it? The wood box with the drawers. She hadn't had it in stock. Well, she had two left there. A friend of mine, um, and her name is Shannon. She's also a floss tuber. Um, her floss tube name is Soda Stitcher. Her and I received or got the last two amazingly so um so we lucked out and what you did what you do with this those of you who don't know is of course you paint it and then you turn you turn these these around the other way because you're going to put this upside down to um put your pattern on the top of it on the top of the box so so it'll be stuck right in there so anyway I always thought that was um, such a cute idea and interpretation. And she had the box there, a couple of the boxes left. And um, so I went for it, got that, and got the pattern too. I'm going to have to do more painting. I also picked up some of her cute little felted pumpkins. <laughs> so cute. I got three of them. She had several. And then she had like most of the people have bought already, but I picked up a little strawberry too. So cute little felted. This doesn't combine very well, pumpkins and strawberries, but anyway, it is cute. So okay, there's still more coming. Um, these patterns, I I believe all of them except for our um, retreat pattern, which won't be available for a year, I believe. But all the rest of these are available now because a lot of people have already gotten them. This is Bells of Christmas, um, and we got that there. She had a pop-up shop, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't, did not say that. Um, pop-up shop was there for us to pick up and buy patterns um, that we were interested in. So we got these kind of like a week or so before she released them to the public. Not a whole long time before. Um, snow, the snowball. <laughs> That's so cute. There's some more on the back. So all of these I'm showing you now, I'm pretty positive you can get in her um, in her store. It's Country Stitches, by the way. I think, not sure if it's countrystitches.com, but I know if you type in Country Stitches, you will come up with Brenda's store. So this one already a couple people have finished. Kyle and Marcy have finished this already. Of course, it's not a very big pattern, but it's so pretty. The Redbird Sampler. I believe it's only like 130 by 111, 17 or 117 or something like that. So um, beautiful, beautiful colors on that. She also had um, kits. I didn't take them out of here, but I can actually read what it says. These are kits um, with a little tray to put the stitching in when you're done. And uh, either that or, I mean, you know, you can either put it in as a as a pillow, finish it as a pillow and then put candies in it or those little felt um, pieces that I just showed you of different seasons and just kind of decorate and paint your little wood tray and decorate it up all cute. And this is called Sugar and Spice. The cute little candy guys, I mean, cookie guys in the gingerbread house. And then this other one that I picked up was I Love Fall Most of All. And so it also has the little tray and the pattern and the fabric and everything. And that's why I picked up those. You know, I thought they're so cute. I put them in a little tray after I you know, paint the tray. And then our um, retreat exclusive was um, Santa's, Santa Stops Here. Is the front of the box that she gave us. And we got a lot of goodies in here. We got um, this little floss drop. So cute with the snowman and the, you know, looking like a little um, snowflake. So cute. And then we got this design called Rudolph and Friends. 
And then we got this one with the fabric and all of the floss. And it's called Santa Stops Here. And uh, Brenda said that this just reminded her of a manna, especially the houses. So she made a house, designed a house that says Candy House in German. And uh, the snowmen and the deer and everything. So, And I do know if you check, um, um, there's a couple floss tubers that are almost done with this. Jen Reagan is one, um, but I don't remember the other one. But anyway, some of them were working on it, really trying to get it done. Um, this is a piece that, let's see. Oh, look, I'm trying to find out how big it is, but it doesn't say. But I know it's not, ex I know it's not extremely large. It may be around the same size as, as the other, other pattern I just showed you. So, the uh, deer pattern that was brightly colored. So that was quite a treasure that we got. All wrapped up in beautiful Christmas wrapping. Um, in town, in Amana, I went to several shops. I went to an antique store um, and wasn't really looking for anything. I was there with another friend and she was looking actually for old sewing boxes. And in and, and just walking around, I ran across something that I, uh, some stitch saving I wanted to do, save the stitches. It was just a little stitched pin keep. So just with, it was finished with a little you know, just a little blue and was stuffed, not tightly. And as you can see, some of the stitches are, you know, not done quite as well. But I thought this was probably done by a little girl and I thought, how sweet. And I figured I could put it with my other um, uh, pink heaps in my shaker box, so. And I don't very rare, I very rarely do save the stitches, but this one kind of grabbed me, so. I also stopped at a, a shop that's called M mouse house i think it had uh, cute t-shirts i picked up um in this one it says it's called small town girl just one of those quarter sleeve ones and then um this one right here it says fall the mana colonies so it actually doesn't look that red it's actually more of like a a burgundy color but I guess that's how things are when you put them on the on the video so I got those I know there's a piece here that I have not showed you yet uh -huh, here it is because when I showed you this um, when I showed you this t-shirt here it reminded me um, I saw this on Teresa Kogut, who was at our retreat. She was just there as a participant, not as a designer. Uh, Teresa Kogut is Creative Whims. That's her designer name. And I saw that long sleeve shirt on her and I wanted it, so she told me where to go. Anyway, she, pa she gave everybody in the retreat a copy of this pattern. So ABC Christmas, or ABC, no, ABC 123 Sampler. And now that I showed that, uh, I thought I was doing pretty good and I would get through this all with being able to tell you all the names, but you know, I think I do remember her name. Ha <laughs> ha, yay. Um, Suzette Peters, don't, I hope I'm not wrong on that, Suzette. I know your first name is Suzette. She makes these really cute journals and she had them there to sell again. And um, so I got this one that shows like sewing implements. And inside you just put whatever you want to put for your, you know, it has the title of your projects and everything else. And then she, uh, I also got this one, which is kind of a red, you know, like a prim red look to it. So, and then she also has small ones. And I thought, let me see if I've got it. I think I have one more here that's hers. Yes, I do. We're doing pretty good, actually, without confusing all this. She, I also bought a couple from her of her um, floss holder books. I mean, for Floss Away. Where she makes up these little, little books with the rings. This one has a sampler pattern on the front. 
and then um, inside you can put your floss. So, so I got that one and this one. So that was pretty cool. And then um, Lori, tech stylist on floss tube, brought some stuff to sell. She had these cute little um, tiny journal books that she made with Santa on them, different colors, and um, it's with a little notebook inside. So that was darling. So I had to get one of those. And she also had um, some of her bags there. Let's set this up with the beautiful fabrics. And uh, fell in love with that one. So I got this one with a plastic, I mean with the vinyl front. And there's the fabric from the back. Gorgeous. And then Lisa Kindred Stitcher was there and she had bags for sale also. So I bought two bags from her. This one is um, a garden, see, I mean garden words, blooms in the garden is peace, um, trowels, watering cans. <laughs> I like that seed packets. So that was a pretty good one for me. And uh, inside is cute, like little trowels pictures. So, And then um, the other one is this really pretty blue fabric. And the inside is a pretty dotted fabric to match. So that was from Lisa, Kendra Stitcher, who is also a um, floss tuber. Okay, I think that might be all for Nana. Oh, nope, a couple more. Oh, I have to put some of these things down here. Oh. So much stuff to put away. That's why I decided I better do this video because otherwise I'd just be leaving it here and it'd never get put away. So it gives me the incentive to make sure that I talk to you guys about everything. So, okay. I went to a place called Heritage Designs, which was actually right next to our retreat center. It's a quilt store and a cross stitch store. I picked up. Um, this embroidery design, My Heart is in the Garden. Because it says, My heart is in the garden, and I don't have my glasses on. My garden loves to grow. So, and all the things like bird houses and sea packets and, and you know, watering cans and flowers and everything. I also did pick up a sulky thread to, to go with this. Um, it comes with the... Um, fabric but it didn't come with you know threads because you can just do whatever and I am now using that sulky thread for my um, birthday um, piece my birthday piece sampler start because I fell in love with the look that it had with my fabric so that's all right I'll just get more of that color so, to do it. I also got a couple of um, uh, towels to embroider and they had the whole kit for them this one's called Happy Camper Dish Towel Pattern and Kit, which was so cute. So, and it has all of the kit supplies to do the stitching and the towel. And then this one called Farm Girl, so, which will look like that. and has also all the kit items. <coughs> I'm running out of talking. I'm talking is going but i'm actually done except for one more thing which is my favorite purchase which every time i've gone to a mana i've picked up one of these in a different style and um just love it so the shaker box that i got just look at that um wood grain this is all handmade Smells so good. <laughs> I hadn't had one with um, like a swivel type of a 
lid before, and I hadn't had one this shape. So that intrigued me. So we can take off the top. There's the inside. Just as pretty as the outside. So that's, and that was at the furniture and clock shop. Um, they, they know us when we come because they try to, try to get the guy to make lots and lots of these kind of different shapes of boxes with some with lids, uh, some stackable ones, you know, bigger, smaller, 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 where they all stack inside. Uh, some with no tops on them and just little handles. Just a lot of fun. Um, he has, he does beautiful work and a lot of fun designs and the prices are, are quite reasonable for, uh, woodwork, um, you know, American made, really classic wood design work. So that was um, my two retreats. Um, I just turned around and went home after the retreat, the, the um, Amana retreat was done. Um, got stuck at the top of Loveland Pass in Colorado, which is 10,000 feet high. Um, they got caught with kind of a quick snowstorm. I don't think they were expecting because they didn't have the sign down at the bottom saying you had to have chains. It wasn't flashing or anything. Um, so we got up at the top and all stopped. So I had car friends and me all sitting there five miles down the hill as we waited for them to snow plow the area and tell us to go through it like 20 miles an hour. Other than that, everything was pretty much standard driving fare. And no issues or anything. Lots of fun. I was, I had a great time and, uh, I'm amazed that I remembered all of that or all the stuff I remembered. One other thing before I forget, um, maybe sometime I'll show you some of the stuff I got for my birthday. That's just adding too much. It's already 40 minutes, so I'm not going to do that. But I do want to mention this because a very dear friend of mine sent me this, and um, I know she had it made. I don't know who made it for her, but um, it's cross-stitch related while my other birthday presents are not. She had this made for me, and it says, Highway Stitcher. So... I thought that was so cute. So I put it on as a scissor fob. I know I could have used it as a floss keep. For now, I'm just putting putting it on for to hold a pair of my scissors, or to be off a pair of my scissors. So anyway, I thought that was so cute. So thank you, Ruthann, for that. So that is it. Um, I'm just going to end it there, and um, I'm hoping to have my pictures put in between at times. Um, if I don't get around the time to doing it, if things are too crazy, they may be at the, some at the beginning, some at the end. And uh, I appreciate you sitting through a haul video if you enjoy that stuff and um, ask you to, to come back and see me. Um, I'm hoping to come back tomorrow and just do a regular update because I do have a lot of things to update as far as stitching goes and a little bit of lace too. So anyway, um, take care, everybody. Good to see you, and um, I'll take care, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.